Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this uh, episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to go through a few old magazines that I have. So I have, I have a pretty big collection of Nintendo magazines, Nintendo Power, and uh, Nintendo Power Flash like this. Uh, so a lot of uh, people outside of Canada, you probably haven't seen these things that much. So, so this was the equivalent of the... Um, Nintendo Fun Club News, which was essentially a newsletter uh, given out to, uh, this was before Nintendo Power. So this is, this is what it was called in Canada, Nintendo Power Flash. And this one is of summer, fall, 1989. So these things didn't come out all that often. They used to come out like a couple of times a year. And then at some point they, they uh, started coming out, uh, I think every month. And they were just getting shorter and shorter towards the end when uh, the Nintendo Power was, um, the magazines were released. Actually, these are all, these came out after Nintendo Power. So, so I, I guess it was Nintendo Fun Club News that was the precursor to Nintendo Power. Anyways, this is, this is, uh, like I said, Summer Fall Issue 1989. Here we have cool looking guy looking uh sporting the nintendo power glove i remember when this thing came out it was all the rage anyways let's look through this and see what we have so open it up and this this thing is about i would say maybe 15 pages or so yeah about 15 pages so it's not that long so here we have an advertisement for mickey mouse capade then here we have basically the um the editor-in-chief his name was guy martin he was basically in charge of, I guess, the Nintendo uh, Power Club in Canada. If you look through here, the top 10 favorite games, Super Mario Brothers 2, Zelda 2, Legend of Zelda, and so on. Obviously, these are all the staple games that you had uh, growing up early on in, in the Nintendo's life cycle. Here we have a pretty big opening, and it's it looks like an ad, but it's not an ad. This is basically Dragon Warrior, so it's... Talking a little bit about the game, about what this is. So, right, RPGs were pretty new back in the day, uh, especially in, in North America. In Japan, they were well-known, uh, but not so much. So, so this was a way to introduce people to an RPG such as Dragon Warrior. And this is Pro's Corner. I guess the Pro's Corner is pretty much like the classified, uh, where, where you had a Nintendo Power, the different types of tips and tricks in this case they call it the pros corner here we have legend of zelda 2 maintaining your speed in super mario brothers 2 so when you pick up an item you just keep running and then cobra triangle a game that not too many people know about here we have a pretty nice ad for sunsoft games sunsoft did a lot of great nintendo games such as batman blaster master uh fester's quest not so much as we know from the angry video game nerd then we have some sneak peeks. So I guess these were games that were coming out. Here they're talking about Tetris, Soviet game of Mind Over Matter, Faxanadu, never played it, Power Glove, tried it a few times, not the biggest fan, very hard to use. Uh, short Order and Explode. I think these were games that were using the Power Pad. Yeah, I remember that, the Power Pad. I used that once. Again, great novelty, not very useful. Uh, sneak peeks, NES play action football, to the earth, never seen that. Uh, don't touch, this was something also that Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed. The U-Force, it's a way of controlling your game where you're not actually touching anything. Very, sounds very cool. In fact, it works very poorly. Let's keep moving this on. Members forum, okay, these are basically letters to, to the magazine um and i'm not sure what, what these are just thing people saying different things uh this guy's talking about legend uh sorry the the adventure of link he has a tip for zelda 2 this guy has a way to get free man super mario 2 then we got this guy brian gannon crusher chalice some tips there not sure what this is uh, oh, Guy. Who is this guy anyways? Okay, that's interesting. Um, then here we have like sort of like an ad for Nintendo Power over here. Blast your video scores into hyperspace Nintendo Power. It's here, the Plower Bast... The Plow... Bleh. 
the power blast you've been waiting for direct from team power headquarters at nintendo it's nintendo power magazine and it'll take you to places you've never been so you just so look here we say u.s players have been turbocharging their scores with it now it's available in canada through a special offer for nintendo power club members so i remember that uh around this time that's when i received my first issue of nintendo power and uh so it wasn't something that was in canada yet and here they are talking about it how now it's available in canada so it's sort of like a little advertisement mailbag so here people used to write in different things to the magazine uh different things that people were were looking at um and again they're just little love letters to nintendo and you know in some cases it's little kids saying oh you know i uh, i was able to save up some money and i bought my first nintendo and i'm very excited uh another sense is it's like oh okay my kid wasn't doing that well and now you know i bought him a nintendo now he's doing better and you know as his reward blah 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 so it's it's that type of thing you know it's it's very very kid like stuff um here we have a Pretty cool ad for The Adventures of Bayou Billy. This game was super hard when it came out, but it was very interesting because you had different types of games. So it was like sort of like a, a beat-em-up type of game, a double dragon, and there was a driving, then there was a shooting aspect of it. So it was it was pretty uh, it was a pretty exciting game. And then here we have this last uh, page here, uh, Nintendo Challenge Championship uh pepsi sponsored much music sponsored uh again very interesting uh anyways yeah so this is not my issue uh this is an issue that i bought off of youtube but it just shows that this is canadian right it was all a canadian thing um so anyways yeah i have a few more of these i'll go through them i'll find what else i have and, and if you guys like this type of video where i go through different content let, let me know uh, I'll be going through some old Nintendo Power, some old Sega magazines, EGMs. Uh, I have some Nintendo Fun Club news magazines as well. Anyways, let me know what you like and see you until the next time.